Today, I'm really excited to talk to you about the different affordable ways that I decorated our cottage entryway for spring this year. Before I jump into all the details, I just wanted to remind you that you do not need to compare yourself or your home to anyone else. Sometimes comparing ourselves to others is a really good thing to make sure that we are staying on track, but sometimes I think that we can take comparison and we can make it something that instead of it having a positive effect on our lives and propelling us forward, it can actually cause us to think negatively about ourselves so I want to show you what our entryway looked like in 2020 when I first started Open Doors Open Hearts blog and kind of take you through the transition from 2020 until today so that you can see that maybe instead of comparing ourselves to those around us, we should be comparing ourselves to ourselves, where we've been, and how far we've come. So the first affordable tip that I have, I actually did by accident. I call them happy accidents. I think it was in a movie that I watched with the girls one time. But at any rate, while I was cleaning and decorating the kitchen for spring, I took all of the vases that I was no longer wanting to have in the kitchen and I just threw them out here on this console table in the entryway living room area. And then when I was done decorating in the kitchen, I came out and I went to take all of those vases to the basement. And it struck me that I created this really fun cluster of vases in different florals. So I decided to just build upon that and continue with the lighter and brighter, um, but still keep the florals kind of mixed. If you watched my spring kitchen video, then you know that when it comes to vases this year for my spring decor, I'm sticking with lighter vases, clear vases, and terracotta pots. After I picked out the vases that I wanted that I felt like looked really good and went with that spring, lighter, brighter vibe that I was going for, then I just went and picked out some different florals that I had already in the basement.
The next thing that I do every year for our entryway in the spring is pull out my summer hat and my denim jacket. These are like two staple items that I absolutely love wearing and using and so I bring them out here. I also think they're beautiful for spring decor um, but I told you in my spring kitchen video that I was looking for some more straw hats and I found this one at the thrift store for $2. I felt like that was a great price for such a beautiful hat. So any everyday item that you are going to be using a lot in the spring would be perfect to hang on a couple hooks in your entryway. I bought this basket a couple years ago off Amazon and I'll go ahead and put the link down below. It is one of my favorite baskets and I use it as home decor in so many different places in our home um, but I also really like it because we will load this basket up with um, different picnic items and take it outside and me and the girls will have a little picnic. I filled the basket with a few of the leftover stems that I had used in the kitchen to create a more cohesive feeling. Another thing I did was add a little bit more artwork to the entryway. I used to have a mailbox on the small wall when you first walked in, um, but I took that mailbox off a while ago and the, the wall has just been empty minus the nail that was still there. So I went downstairs and grabbed a piece of artwork that I had purchased last spring but never ended up using and brought it up here and hung it on the nail. My dad shared this really awesome tip with me when you're hanging artwork on your wall and the back of the artwork is like a wire or a string and you're hanging it on a nail. If you take a fork and you slide the part that you eat with down over the nail and then slide the wire down the back of the handle of the fork then just pull the fork up and out and your artwork will be on the hook. Next thing I added to our entryway is a little bowl. I feel like I always have this little bowl in the entryway. Um, as a place for people to just drop their keys, drop their sunglasses, and just be able to continue on into the house. I, I like having it as kind of like a resting zone for the things that you need to drop off when you walk in and pick up when you leave. The last thing that I added to our entryway was a couple real flowers. In Ohio, Mother's Day is like the big planting weekend. And so I've found that if I wait until Mother's Day, I can often miss some of the things that I, like some different flowers that I may have really wanted. Also in part because I am so ready for spring. I just want to wait. Like, it's really good. Yeah. It smells like the one that we caught last year. Like, those ones are the same, right? I think so. Yeah. I love them. I just picked up a couple things. Um, but the things that I picked up were things that I intend on planting outside that will be a perennial.
I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I hope that you hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you next time.